Thanks so much for joining us here on 9 News Plus on this snowy and cold Monday morning. I'm 9 News Meteorologist Chris Bianchi. And yes, uh, we picked up about one to three inches of snow across much of the metro area on this Monday morning. The snow is over and done with in the metro area, eastern plains, especially south and east of Denver. That's where the heavy snow continues at this hour. But for us here in Denver, again, light snowfall, the story for the rest of the day. It's really cold and really windy. Wind chills around zero degrees right now. It's not going to get any better as we head through the day. Let's take a look around a few spots around the state. This is the Loveland ski area and on the left and on the right is, of course, the Eisenhower Johnson tunnels on I-70 at about 11,000 feet in elevation. Starting to see the sun poke on out there in the higher elevations. They picked up their snow yesterday, mainly in the high country. Buena Vista, that is just gorgeous. I love this camera. Uh, Mount Princeton, Mount Antero visible off in the distance there. The collegiate peaks, of course, and uh, seeing still maybe some leftover flakes for us there in Buena Vista, but they picked up a couple inches of snow mainly yesterday as well. Things clearing out and things clearing out here in Denver uh, as well. We're getting a bit more of a northerly push the air mass, and that means uh, we're getting some dry air moving its way on in, and that will lead to overall uh, more and more sunshine as we head through the day today here in town. So overall headlines in terms of what we can expect. The story now, it's the wind. It is the cold. That wind will improve tonight, but until then, it is going to be quite windy for the day today. The sunshine uh, returns in earnest for tomorrow. We'll have, uh, again, some bits of sun throughout the day today, but uh, it will be more, much more sunny as we look ahead to tomorrow. And it's a cold and kind of occasional light snow pattern throughout the rest of the week. No big snow chances, but I'll say this. Next weekend looks really really cold. Uh, I'm just going to tell you that. But uh, AC Doppler radar showing us that snow dissipating uh, from west, kind of northwest to southeast. In the southeastern plains, uh, this is where we got some road closures on 385 uh, along and south of Highway 50. It's snowing pretty heavily in Baca, Las Animas, and Prowers counties. And um, that, that, again, along and south of Highway 50 is where that snow is at its heaviest right now. And that snow will continue over the next few hours. Uh, in fact, let's actually pull this a uh, little bit uh, quickly back for you here. Uh, take you a little bit further north. I do want to take you up at Albert County because that's also uh, where it is snowing right now. Still seeing some of that snowfall uh, at this hour. Our place like Byers as well as uh, Kiowa seeing some of that snow fall and along Highway 86 as you head through Albert County. That's where that snow uh, continues. Now, by this afternoon, that snow will come to a close. Sun sunshine returns this afternoon and still maybe a few leftover mountain snow showers, but I think we're mainly done with the snow uh, this afternoon and tonight. And then tomorrow morning, most of us should wake up to sunny skies. Current wind chills. Ooh, this is the story here, folks. Look at that. Minus three in Lyman. Uh, 10 degrees in Greeley, 8 in Denver. We've been hovering around zero uh, all morning long, and this is the reason why. It's not only cold, but it's really windy as well. With those winds howling to 50, 60 mile an hour gusts for us on the eastern plains. Also should note that if you are heading east or uh, if you're traveling on I-70 east of, especially about Lyman, it is a rough ride, uh, very limited visibility on this uh, Monday morning with some of that snow and that wind making things pretty nasty out there on the eastern plains. If you don't have to travel on I-70 east today, don't. Things are not going to get better because that wind hangs around. So that snow that fell already is going to continue to get kind of picked up and blown about by the wind. So for today, high around 30 degrees, gradual clearing. It is a windy day. Winds gusty, maybe as strong as 40 miles an hour for us in Denver. Those winds will not relax until tonight. Highs in the uh, 20s and 30s for most of us for the day today. Now for tonight, uh, mostly clear. Uh, temperatures drop back into the teens. It is just cold. That wind will be at its strongest the earlier we go in the evening. Lows tonight, teens and 20s, eastern plains, single digits in teens in the high country. Tomorrow, uh, the one really, uh, I guess, I, I don't, I don't want to call it, um, I don't know if nice is the word, but 43 degrees is actually around our seasonal average high for this time of year. Average high of 44. We'll be right around there for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. And folks, if you want to get anything done outdoors, tomorrow is the day. Um, the rest of the week looks really cold and this weekend even colder. Just really nasty here, folks. So again, tomorrow, pretty good day to get out and about and enjoy some of those Maybe a dog walk, a, a run. Tomorrow's the best day probably of the week to do that. Uh, it's not going to be 68 in northern Colorado. I don't know what that's coming from. It may have an error with our computer there, but it is pretty nice overall. So mountain snowfall develops again for tomorrow from west to east. We'll have uh, in Denver mostly sunny skies, and then we'll see maybe some flurries for us on our Wednesday. And that seven-day forecast is just occasional flurries, light snow. I, I'm not seeing anything significant as we head over the next few days. Probably 
Saturday, Sunday would have the best chance for a meaningful accumulation here in town, but at this point, it's too early to really kind of say about that. The, the, the point of emphasis for this weekend, look at those temperatures. And folks, I'm just telling you that this is probably gonna be on the warm end. I'm showing you those highs in the teens, low 20s, overnight lows around zero. Um, uh, there's a real chance that we're gonna be dropping well below zero this weekend. So just, again, um, plan ahead. If you've got any sort of outdoor activities this weekend, um, not a great idea. It's just gonna be really, really cold. It's an ice box for Saturday, Sunday, and to MLK Day next Monday. So very, very chilly forecast ahead tomorrow. Again, 43 degrees, that's gonna feel, uh, that's gonna feel like Honolulu compared to what we have the rest of the week. So just get outside and enjoy the seasonal temperatures while we've got them. Again, the overall pattern, this is from the Climate Prediction Center. Um, it's just gonna be very bitterly cold as we look ahead through the weekend and into next week. So overall, chilly, snowy, it is mid-January weather, it is stock show weather, and it is kind of classic cold mid-January weather. Probably, uh, this will probably end up being one of our coldest weeks of the year, if not the coldest week of the year, uh, coming up as we head over the next few days. So bundle up, uh, make sure you're um, taking the, the, those cold weather precautions. Remember, just don't leave the, uh, the, the your pets outside for too long, even if they um, might like the colder weather. And we're talking about temperatures this cold as we head over the next few days past tomorrow. Uh, that can be dangerous for, for anybody. But uh, again, we live in Colorado. I think most of us know a lot of those cold weather precautions. But just, uh, again, it's going to be that kind of bitter, dangerous cold as we head into the upcoming weekend. Uh, more for you coming up at 9 News at noon and at 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and at 6 p.m. here on 9 News and the 9 News Family Networks. And then also uh, we'll have uh, meteorolo Chief Meteorologist Kathy Saban in at 9 and 10 tonight on the 9 News Family Networks. Once again, I'm 9 News Meteorologist Chris Bianchi. Stay safe, stay warm out there, and have a great rest of your Monday.